what brought you in, what kept you out, what makes it like that random store you stop into versus the store you go What do you like about it? What do you not like about it? Yeah, but they're fine for Come on, we're not dealing with 18 to 25 year olds. No, we're not, but a lot of people, like, really, like, even us, sometimes when they ask us to teach it, so what are, you, what are your thoughts on JC Penney? What do you like about shopping at JC Penney? What do you not like about shopping at JC Penney? I have. Uh, See, I would say like. How about we ask them to describe their experience? I don't know. Why does it have to be at JC Penney's? Why can't we just get like? Because that's our client. I, I know it's our client, <laughs> but we're, it's not. It's it's it's. Yeah, I, I know it's our client, but. What it is we're looking for is the perception of the demographic, no, though. No, it's the perception of their of J C Penney. Yeah, but if we wheel it into it, like, where do you like to shop? We've already asked them that. Oh, you're asking them that. I'll stop it. Shit. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. But I didn't mean to be rude. <laughs> we, yeah, I'm just writing general. Um, so I think that. So have you ever shopped at J C Penney? Maybe, um, why do you like to shop there? How about what are the... What do you like about What brought you into JC Exactly. Just like... That's right. Wow. We're all we're arguing over bourbon. <laughs> well, no, there's a difference between what brought you in. Okay, a sale brought you in. What do you like about shopping at JC Penney? They might say... Oh, I'm trying to get I know they have what, what, higher quality What in your Walmart, experience drove you to buy? Drove, what drove you to purchase? Uh, trying to figure out a question. Okay, Mark. Wouldn't that be? I guess you know, yeah, but the, the, the difference between what brought you in and what you like about the store. Because, because if they, they tell us what they like questions. and what they don't like about the store, I know, but asking one or the other first automatically <laughs> sets them in the positive yeah. or negative. Are you see what I'm saying? What like what brought you into the store? Uh, a sale. What drove you to purchase? Just because they went in the store doesn't mean they bought it. Right. Well, we're asking have you ever shopped? About what sparked you to visit J C Penney or go to J C Penney? If you ask general you know, questions, ask, you'll get specific shopped? answers. How, how about we don't ask have you ever shopped at J C Penney? Ask have you ever been to J C Penney? Yeah. Because plenty of people, I'm sure, have walked in that store and walked right out. What about have you ever purchased? That can be like a question down the line. What? When when you get into these too too specific, what we want is their perceptions. We want to ask general questions instead of these specifics. So when you say, "What do you like about J C Penney? What do you not like about J C Penney?" We can get we'll get it all sorts, you know, we'll get a variety of feedback yeah. answers. Some people might like right, the where fact do you that... Shop? Where do you like to shop? Me, yeah. personally? Um, when I buy work clothes, I go to JCPenney. Okay, why? Because they, the clothes last, but they're reasonably priced. Have you ever like shopped it? at Walmart? Hold, hold on, yes. real quickly, just back up, back up a little bit, because this, this question you asked, what do you like? What do you don't like? To me, those are leading. It's exactly what I'm saying. So, so let's just back it up even right. further right. and just make them even. Just what do you think about? You know, what are your thoughts about this? Just, you know, just started that brand broad. Just, just see the brand identity. Right. And, then, and then you could down there. Yeah, you could go down there. You know, they you know, start asking about that. But the fact that what do you like? What do you don't like? To me, those are the type of questions that I start to right. Yeah, I like the color of their name. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to get a little, like, like you said, broader time of what specifically do you know what you're going in like this. Yeah, like I walked in, like a little tacky, and not like a surprise, but you might not get their perception that they didn't see the school as well. When you ask it broad, then you get... And then you open the opportunity for them to tell you specific things like they didn't have the things I was looking at, you know, and, and stuff like that. Instead of when you get too specific, did you make a purchase or did you not make a purchase? Then it leaves, yeah, leaves out the possibility for them to give their, their, their thoughts on what they really think of the, the company overall. That's what I'm hearing from you guys. I want you guys to think about those opening questions.
Open and close mean you're just collecting right. that data that is, you know, like yes, no, right. you know, right. 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 that's what, you know, so you but in a focus get, group, you're right, you want to have a discussion. So. Right. Something like with meaning. Um, kind of yeah, like how do you feel? Like, like, like what was your experience kind of at JC Penney? Keep them open. Positive, negative, why? There's uh, nothing uh, oh, terrible yeah. customer service? Yeah. What happened? Shit, come on. Oh, we're in the lab with JC Yeah, Andy has it. Really? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah